Let's look at the process of creating a 2D transformation for Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. First, create a selection rectangle around the head. Now open the File menu and select Pantomat Face Shop for 2D Filter. As the filter opens, you'll see your selection appear in a guide window that always shows the next step. In this screen, you'll need to pick points as shown to align the 3D head with your photo. Click on the middle of the forehead, the root of the nose, top of the nose, and so forth as prompted by the guide. If you don't see something, like the left ear here, simply right-click to skip it. When finished, click on the Next button. The second, final screen asks you to draw curves around the significant shapes, starting with eyebrows, followed by the eyelids, mouth, and so forth. You will be asked to draw the contour of the left side of the face and repeat this on the 3D head. Then you'll do the same for the right side. Once you've finished, you'll notice three vertical lines flashing. These lines are optional to create unusual features, such as the delicate long nose in this example. Draw the nose line on the photo and then on the 3D head. Once finished, click Next. Rendering is a two-stage process. First, Face Shop will change the shape of the 3D head. This is followed by application of the texture. Now you can see the 3D head with textures, rotated around. Notice that the left side of the 3D head is lacking texture. You can fix this by applying the mirror function. In this case, use the second mirror button, the from right to left button. Now you have a symmetrical head. You can either go back a few steps by clicking the back button to change your lines, or if you are satisfied with your model, Select the angle you want to transfer to Photoshop and click the Photoshop button. This will close the filter. When you are back in Photoshop, press Ctrl F2. This will paste the head on a new layer. Move the head around, scale it, and place it in position.